Well, something a whole lot different this week. <laughs> yes, just a bit. We've been working on so many different projects all at the same time. Oh, no kidding. We figured we'd just update you on all of the projects. There we go. <laughs> so here we are at Mirage Mahal, uh -huh. and we've been, uh, we've been working on projects. <laughs> One of the big projects is uh, this is the old Garden Railroad which kind of got dismantled. Yeah, it did, but it had to. It was falling apart. It was twisting and buckling and it wasn't square. Part of the problem is right here that these posts weren't set deep enough. Some of them were set deep enough, but the wood was twisting and uh, we've salvaged some. We're gonna salvage a little bit more, but uh, you don't have to. It, was, it was a disaster. So we tore the entire railroad apart mm -hmm. yep <laughs> <laughs> let's see what else we've been up to this is the pinball machine and uh we've been working on the pinball machine finally yes we've got it under control <laughs> <laughs> and it actually works we've got a few more things left to do But it, generally speaking, is working. Oh dear. Oh dear. One of the things it needs is some more lively, livelier rubber. Anyway. <laughs> And over here is the logging railroad, which you can see is completely dismantled. So this was always the plan. Yes. Was to move the logging railroad down to the floor. We build it up here on the tables, and now we're ready to work on the backdrop. So I, I've taken all the trees off, mm. which is scary. Yeah. I've not, you can see I've numbered all of the trees, and then I also create a corresponding number. It looks like a golf course. It does, a construction <laughs> site. <laughs> Somebody's chipping over here. Anyway, um, this way I can get the trees back where they belong, and then I set the new backdrop in place and sort of marked out where things are going to be on the backdrop. And then as the railroad can be taken apart, um, it's been taken apart. Oh, yeah, and, it sure has. And Look at set, that. And set down oh. here. <laughs> and that way we can stretch the, uh, the backdrop out on the tables and go to work painting on the backdrop. Well, that'll work. So we're, we're into this project at this point. Uh, we are. Uh, but it's just one, one of many, many, many projects. Uh, you decided we should put a primer on, and I'm glad you did. Right, because it looked a little, the slick stuff on there. Well, using an acrylic paint. Uh, so we started with a, a lacquer primer, which is what I prefer to do anyway, and now just using these cheap acrylics. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Just so it doesn't flake and all come off. Yeah, I, it's sticking really well to that primer. And now we're doing what's called underpainting. Right. Just sort of roughing out where everything's going to be. Now we just have to finish the... Uh... The buildings. The buildings. Well, you're working on that. I have a 3D building I'm working on. This is it. Well, I put these, I just printed out buildings years ago when I was working on this part of the backdrop just as placeholders and the intention was to always build. Right, but sometimes when you don't have a lot of space you have to just do a building in front. So I thought, well, I found that one on the internet and was able to make a 3D building front. It's not finished yet, but I have got some glass in it and an open sign. We've got the most clever system for lighting these buildings on the backdrop. Right. We're using electroluminescent <laughs> panels, and uh, we've been testing one. We've got two more on order. I've been wanting to try these uh, electroluminescent panels for lighting backdrop buildings forever. I think they could work. I think this is, it, it's going to take your magic mm -hmm. trick of printing stuff mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. and then layering that over That's this so it's backlit. But I think it's going to work yeah. great. I think so. I'm almost tempted to put two buildings. There's enough there for that building and maybe a smaller one to the side. Absolutely. So we don't have to cut it. No. 
do whatever we want. But mm -hmm. and then it's twenty dollars to buy another one, so mm -hmm. it's not like they're expensive. Right. Just like to put what we've got to good use. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. There's going to be uh, Gus Rich's Lakeshore Lodge right over in here, mm -hmm. and then these buildings. And uh, this building will probably sit up a little higher than it currently is. Right. Up in Somewhere here, in there. Because it's narrower, but that makes more room for more buildings. Yeah. And then distance. we'll just put in uh, proper building fronts that Absolutely. are all lit up. Yeah. And then the, the painting over here is, is finished. The painting over here, well, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. <laughs> So that's one of the projects we're working on, and that's kind of slowed us down. But eventually, the uh, the uh, backdrop and the logging railroad will live up above the game room over there, and uh, on these shelf brackets. Model T, um, but it sits up here. And the backdrop will be up here, and I have to get the lighting in for that. But I do have the the front lights installed. The spotlights are in place. Um, anyway, let's see what else we've been up to. The buildings for the uh, logging railroad are sitting up here with the engine shop, which has been on hold for a while while we were working on everything right. else. Right. And uh, once the logging railroad is up on here, where it belongs, then we'll get back to the engine shop. Now here's one of the big projects. I got a wild hair <laughs> oh, to carpet the shop. These are those carpet tiles that we've been using everywhere. We get them from a, a company in Georgia. Right. Uh, Biscuit the dog, and I. <laughs> I, I have no idea why it's Biscuit, but. But they they buy all the leftovers from other work projects, and and sometimes they'll only have a box of tiles, and sometimes more. But you can get them for way cheap because they're just surplus tiles left over from big industrial projects. Right. Uh, I don't know, Google Georgia carpet tiles, Biscuit the dog, and you might be able to find these guys. <laughs> but um, uh, first thing you do is just kind of figure out a plan of how you want to put them down to minimize the amount of cutting, and then you just start uh, cutting and gluing. Yes, very easy. And we had to do it in sections because there's so much stuff in here that we'd have to move the stuff out of the way. Oh, and as it was, we still had a lot to move. Oh man, move it from here to there to back to here, but it's like our life. <laughs> <laughs> and this was the last section, and this involved moving the switch stand and the switch oh, board. Yeah, heavy. It makes the room so much more comfortable. It's it's like being home now. Well, it is. It's quiet and just looks better. Feels yeah, better. It's it's warmer, quieter, and just just more pleasant to be around. Yeah, it's cold here in the winter time. It's just miserable to be over here because the floor gets cold. It does, and uh, this is just more comfortable and nicerer, and just all the way around betterer. Right, this is supposed to be the nice part of the shop anyway, so. Now it's nice and comfortable. Mm -hmm. This right. was this was mildly tricky because the switchboard is over here, the one out of St. Mary's School. And then the switch stand, which weighs about 150, 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. But we put this on sliders. Right. And now both the switchboard and the switch stand mm -hmm. just glide around on top of the carpet. So right. now it's easy. Yeah. So that's wonderful. Uh, let's see. This is really neat. Um, the lumber yard has been sitting on top of the casting equipment. <laughs> It sure has. And, and uh, that. as we've been working on the logging railroad, all of the bits and pieces of lumber for the engine shop and the logging railroad have all been up on top of here. And that just ain't right. No, it needs to be cleaned up and organized. So Karen did that. And look <laughs> what she built here. Just out of cardboard, cardboard boxes. And so now all of the lawn pieces are all uh, neatly put away and organized and you can go right to the size that you need. Mm -hmm. Also the long 
plastic and long brass strips are here. Mm -hmm. And then over here, all of the, the scraps and bits and pieces right have here. been properly organized here. Right. Well, not to get too Martha Stewart with the whole thing. On her show, she always uh, labeled everything in her house. And I see you've been watching her show. Um, well, yeah, I, I never thought I would sort of become her. <laughs> yes. No, but it is handy to have things labeled so you know where they are. Well, you know, the worst thing uh, is spending two hours looking for something because you didn't put it where, you know, the, I've always had that, that philosophy, a pile for everything and everything in its pile. Right, exactly. And that doesn't always work out. No. And I've wasted so much time just, just looking for things. And now look at that. There it is. We can we can go right straight to anything we want. We just have to remember to put it away That's when, the key. when we're done with it. That's the key. Put it back where you got it from. So that's pretty neat. Working on things easier. And the, the central workbench here has all been cleaned off. Everything's just kind of good to go. Right. And um, over here, Karen's been working on this. This will be a Tuesday show coming right up. Right. Um, she's been making little teeny sandwiches oh, but <laughs> this is those, uh, out. those are tucked behind because if they want to just go all over the place well, i've got some lovely close-ups so okay. check this out these are these are tacos actually this this whole piece of business started when jim keeler called darn it jim <laughs> our friend jim keeler and he's He's prototyping some models uh, that are going to be on uh, displayed at the IPMS convention in Las Vegas here in a couple of weeks. And he's doing this. He's doing a, a, a tray for a drive-in uh, drive restaurant car hop. For his model car. For his model car. Right. And... Um, he wanted to know if you wanted to do it, and it's like, oh, it's just... I did and I didn't. It was just like, I don't know if I can, and I didn't know that I could. You but, could. You did. <laughs> and then I decided to try it, and I liked it. Yeah, it turned out great. I mean, that looks really yummy, and to say it's 24th scale. Right. It's just teeny, teeny tiny. Right. Look at the ice cubes. Yes, that, that's just a reaction with my crazy glue, as always happens, but I found out it makes a good drink. But uh, And then Jim Keeler's gone ahead and done his version for the IP. PMS uh, convention and that looks really good. It does. And we could uh, get all this stuff together. Oh, the sandwich. I yes, love I the had sandwich. to try sandwiches and potato chips. And that turned out really and nice. And a plate. And you're using uh, just sculpty clay, the kind that you. It's all different colors, and you just bake it in the oven. Wow, and that just that looks so darn good. Uh, I mean, yummy good. <laughs> yes, you could take a bite right out of that. My drinks have spilled. Oh no. My coffee is spilled. Oh no. Anyway, that's a project, and then this will be Tuesday show. Um, the pumpkin carriages, right. two different variations. On we were talking about circus wagons and things like that, but these are sort of like circus wagons. They're just made out of that laser cut wood, and this one's an unfinished, but I plan on just leaving it that way. It just looks really cool and it's natural to finish. Same basic thing, mm -hmm. just different sizes and yeah, little, subtly different. A little bit different, but it's by the same company. Yeah. But for anybody that's into fairy tales and stage coaches and pumpkins that turn into coaches. And this is the army of the undead. Uh, and if you've been following along on the channel, I've been they, they working on They are tired the, as we are. They keep falling over. Right. But I keep adding to and working on what the, happened to Sasquatch over here? He's laying down on the well, job. I, I had to pin him to the oh, logging right. railroad. Well, get his bear can because that was just my contribution. That's a, a fairly recent addition to right. Sasquatch is the Coors beer can. Well, he didn't bother using the pull top. He just pulled the whole top. Well, he and he's in the mountains of Colorado. That's right. Up on the uh, Colorado and Southern. So, yeah. of course, that would be Golden Coors. Colorado. So, yeah, Coors. Yeah. He's a Coors guy. Yeah. Well, he'll take whatever's available. I would say Coors Man, but we know he's not really. It's a, a Coors... Uh... We're getting in awfully deep. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> he could be anything. Um, uh -huh. yeah. But he's a, he's, a, he's a Coors creature. Yes. A creature of, of, of Coors. Coors. <laughs> of Coors. Of Coors, that's going to happen to you, yes. So let's go uh, scope out the new railroad. So... It isn't a lost cause, it's just starting all over. But that and, looks better. 
Now it's all square and straight and strong and adjustable. Yes. Because since some of the poles were moving up and down and twisting and doing things, everything's designed now so that it's adjustable. And what we need to do now is get this rolled roofing in place. We're missing a little down here because, well, monsoons are arriving. Well, we think. <laughs> we think. It's 100 degrees. We've just been baking. We haven't been able to work out here because it's been too dang it's too hot. hot. And, um, and now it's cooling off, but and it's starting to get breezy, which is to say this has all changed in the last... 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's Utah's weather though. Only five minutes to drive five miles. But they're telling us it's going to rain like crazy and we wanted to get this uh, this roofing on and we still, we need to go get some more. Yep. We need to go get we some more. So if you've been following along on the channel, you know that we build an entire railroad out here. Yes, we did. And uh, there will be future episodes on rebuilding the railroad so yes. we can show you guys what went wrong and what's gone right and why we ended up tearing the whole thing out and starting all over and, no, and don't do that again and don't do that so learn from our mistakes right instead of learning from your own mistakes because i wish we hadn't learned from our mistakes <laughs> but we did and we're moving forward and and this project's been on hold because it's been 107 degrees out here it's been unbearably hot Anyway, the new version here, all of these uh, posts are set two feet into proper cement, properly poured concrete. That shouldn't be moving around, and on the outside chance that it does, everything has been set up to be adjustable. Right. So if things do move, we can unbolt some things and re-level some things and screw it back down. So if, you're, if you want to build an elevated bench work in your yard, um, hopefully all this goes properly this time and uh, learn from from what we're doing because we're going to finish the entire railroad out here yes that'll be nice and hopefully this time it works anyway uh, we've got it's it all the way to this to point sure, and now because the theory. monsoon rains are coming I mean, uh, we're scrambling to get the roofing material on oh, here. Oh boy, and it's just been nip and tuck to do that. Yeah, because it's going right straight from over 100 degrees to monsoon rains over the course of, uh, of a day. Without that much drop in temperature. Yeah, it was still 100 degrees while we were out here putting the roofing material on. Right. So uh, hopefully as the fall progresses we can get back out here and finish the overhead lighting and uh, Maybe get the track wiring back in and even lay some track. Right. That's the plan. So anyway, um, we've just been making uh, the shop here a whole lot more homey. Mm -hmm. And just, and so everything's been kind of on, uh, kind of on uh, remodel. I can't say on hold because everything's been going forward. It's just that we're going forward with a whole bunch of things. Sort of like line dancing. Yeah. <laughs> the backwards, you dance the cha-cha. <laughs> We've been doing all of that. We've been doing all of that. Mm -hmm. Well, there it is. <laughs> the small diet. <laughs> the small, we'll be covering all this stuff in some future shows and you don't want to miss that. So make sure you're a subscriber and you're notified and you can do that by clicking on the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this particular video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, because it wasn't boring. No. <laughs> we no. hope. It was busy. And we'll see you on Tuesday.